Hello everyone, this is Samara and welcome back to Samara Perhaps. In my car, we're still chilling out here. What I want to want what I wanted to talk about today is how I selected my name. And I don't mean oh like Samara Perhaps the channel, I mean literally how I chose Samara as part of my transition. So, uh, of course, if you watch till the end, I want to say that I'll provide some tips, which I will. It's just some things that have helped me. But this is something that if you're going through the same thing, transitioning and selecting your name, it's going to be something very personal for you. So the main thing I'll say immediately is there is no wrong way to choose, you know, your new name. It's you. It's what's validating. And the, of course, the main thing, whatever I say in the, the quote unquote tips, is if you feel like in your heart it's what's right for you, then it is right. Anyway, so how did I choose Samira? When I began the transitioning process, I was looking into names, of course, that um, my uh, dead name began with an S. And I was thinking, well, if I were to change my name, you know, hint, hint, for any reason, I, for me personally, I wanted something that kept my initials. I still wanted to be um, SJ. And that's something that was very important to me. That may not be the same for everyone. And once again, there's no wrong way to do it, but that's, as I said, in my heart, was something I felt like I wanted to maintain. So I looked into, uh, funny enough, a list of baby names. I actually looked into several lists of baby names because, I mean, this is more, of course, when it was more official that I was going to be changing my name. Oh, and I do want to mention, um, not everyone who changes their gender identity does change their name. That is totally valid. Um, that's the same thing. It's valid. It's, um, what's, what's the word? Affirming to them. It's not something at all you have to do to change your name. So I just want to put that out there real quickly. This is not something that's mandatory. But yeah, for me, I was looking up names that started with S. And I know that I have somewhat of a fascination for... Maybe the more morbid side of things, like I do not like darker movies, horror movies, horror stories. And I specifically ended up looking up um, uh, names with a little bit of a darker theme. And I found a few things. Some of the names I found were um, uh, Salem, which I ended up not going with that. I looked up Shiloh, which was a very close second. I was for a few days, a few weeks even, just stuck between Samara and Shiloh because I do like the name Shiloh quite a bit. But um, I don't remember what the, um, the definition of that was or the, the meaning behind the name, but there was something about it that I thought it worked in its own way. But when I came to Samara, I looked up the meaning of that and I mean, I just liked how it sounded. It seemed like something I don't hear often. And the meaning is, first off, protected by God. And I'm not necessarily religious, even though I am very spiritual. Um, what really got to me was the second meaning, which means a companion to speak to in the night. And that immediately stuck out to me, or st stood out to me, not stuck out. Because when I think of the night, it's something that I feel as very symbolic. And when I think of my own night, I think of literally well, the night itself in the dark, but also the unknown. If you're enjoying this content, I feel like I say the same thing, but it's always true. Um, let me know by liking, commenting, and subscribing. It's guidance for me to know, as I say so many times, that I'm making the right kind of content and that it's beneficial for you. And yeah, I'll just get right back into it. So... Yeah, I was really stuck towards the end of things of my, you could say, name selection with um, Shiloh and Samara. And again, I don't even remember what the meaning is behind the name Shiloh. I could probably look that up. But with Samara, it just stuck with me so much that eventually I couldn't imagine not going with Samara. So here I am, Samara, uh, Samara J. Uh, you know as it goes, and of course, Samara perhaps. And I guess I will touch on real quickly why it's perhaps. It's, uh, I guess, my openness to uncertainty. And really that's all there is to it. Just like, uh, I know like, 
I want to be as certain as myself as possible. But in terms of just taking in new information about the people around me and, and so on, I do want to be clear that I may not have the final answer. So that means I'll be wondering, hmm, perhaps is that the way things are? So some tips for you, like I said, you're really going for something that, that affirms who you are, that is validating who you are. And what I did is I looked up name meanings that really resonated with my personality and my interests. Um, something very important to point out. I don't think it's necessarily unheard of or uncommon that you select a name and then decide you want to change it again. Keep in mind, if you made a selection at first, but then your, your feelings change and you realize, you know, actually I want something that's a, that's a little different or something feels better for me than what I've selected. That's totally fine. Same thing. It's totally right and the correct thing to do because it is you. Um, what I will say is with me, I'm pretty stuck, or not, not stuck, pretty satisfied and sealed in with Samara. And I've even legally changed my name, which I'm so excited about. It's so affirming in itself. But really, you're going for that, that gut or that feeling in your heart that the name you choose is, um, is you. What I will say, though, is I've noticed sometimes online someone might reach out and say like, hey, could someone choose a name for me? I recommend not doing that. I mean, you can if you want to. I'm not saying in, like it's wrong. But again, this is like, this is you. This is what you're going to go by. This is like going to be a giant part of your identity. It's, it's your name. So if you're able, I would say try to discover it on your own. If you really decide you want to reach out and say like, hey, could someone pick a name for me? I wouldn't do it myself. My, myself, I'm glad I didn't do it. But if that's what works for you, I don't have the right to say, oh no, don't do it. Really just, I think maybe make that a, at least not a first option. Anyway, I was actually really enjoyed talking about this. Thank you so much for watching. As you know, as I hope um, you realize, you are valid, beautiful, and amazing. And um, thank you. I, I'll try to get this car and mic situation worked out quickly. Have a wonderful day.